So let's predict the products from this reaction. Decided we're not going to worry about the mechanism here. This simply replaces the hydroxy group with a CL. Good. That's good. Let's predict the products of this reaction. start to start by writing out the structure of the carboxyl group more. That's always a good idea. common mistake. A lot of the time when people start with benzene, they, they accidentally turn it into cyclohexane. And also, a lot of the time when people start with cyclohexane, they accidentally turn it into benzene. So we have to be careful to keep what we started with. This isn't really playing any role. We just have to keep copying it. Good. What type of functional group is this? Uh, Carboxylic acid. And we know that those react with thionyl chloride. Do you know what the name for this type of functional group is? Uh, an alkoxide? That's not a bad name. Uh, in a sense, that's right. The more general name for this is an ether, when we have a carbon, an oxygen, and another carbon. So in a sense, it's an ether. Anyway, the key thing is, what have we learned that thionyl chloride does? Thionyl chloride turns hydroxy groups into, into chlorines. Thionyl chloride turns hydroxy groups into chlorines. But this doesn't have a hydroxy group. So you correctly saw there would be no reaction down here, no reaction. Again, that seems to be the theme of a lot of the problems that your instructor covered. He's giving you a lot of molecules with multiple functional groups. And you have to figure out which one is reacting and which one isn't. Say, for instance, we had an alcohol. Yeah. Then would it get chlorinated? That is an excellent question. Well, what do you think? Um, Would you need, would you need, um, let's just do this. What would you predict would be the product here? Um, pentanol or, or pentyl chloride or something like that? Is that what That's the right name. We were just mentioning that thionyl chloride replaces hydroxy groups with chlorines. Okay. It replaces hydroxy groups with chlorines. Notice that the oxygen is completely gone. It shouldn't be OCl. It's just be where the carbon used to be connected to the hydroxy. Now the carbon's connected to the chlorine. This is a reaction that you might have, that uh, you probably were introduced to in a previous term. Yeah. So thionyl chloride. We know that carboxylic acids are not alcohols, but in this respect, they behave similarly. In both cases, the hydroxy group is replaced with the chlorine. Um, you were asking what would happen if this is an OH. Mm -hmm. So I, my guess would be that. Again, it would be replaced with the chlorine. I'm not 100% sure, though. There might be something that might be different since this is a benzene carbon. The fact this is a benzene carbon might have some effect so that the mechanism doesn't work. So I'm not 100% sure. But that would be my guess. But in any case, what we know for sure is no hydroxy group, this won't react. This doesn't react with the ether group over here. And it certainly does react with a normal alcohol to turn it into a chlorine. 
this is another, um, so it's good that you brought this up, but this was something else that your instructor specifically talked about in lecture. So it looks like your instructor does want you to remember that the ionyl chloride reacts not just with carboxylic acids, but also with alcohols. But we would not expect it to act with neither, and we wouldn't really expect it to react with any of these either, because they don't have hydroxy groups. 